hey you guys welcome back to my channel um you can say i'm this video is going to be a simple bold look so we're gonna have some red lipstick some simple eye look um funny story i don't ever wear red lipstick i the first time i started wearing it was like you know what i'm just really going depth into this so back when i was in eighth grade i was in choir because who didn't want to be in choir because everyone gets to go on the field trips and do all this crazy stuff right although you probably don't know how to sing i didn't know how to sing i just um but everyone literally did it for that reason um so not required i don't think it was required because i didn't do it um we're like usually all dressed in a black dress you guys know that basic black dress especially if you're a choir kid choir kid oh my god so i had a friend at that time um everyone was like wear red lipstick with your dress right and so like the whole choir was like wearing red lipstick like everyone looked good in it i have a hispanic mom like <laughs> that lady beat me when she found that i was wearing mascara but what is it called um when i put on so i was like okay whatever you know i'm gonna do it gonna wear some red lipstick feel bold feel grown i was only like 14 you know um so try it on and then i'm like hey like asking my bestie like hey how does it look on me because i was so self-conscious like i know i still am um but it doesn't go it doesn't go with you it does not look good on you you look terrible on it like don't ever do that again and i was like you know you're right so like ever since that like that really stuck with me like it stuck with me like mm -mm, never again never wore it since that day like i hated the color i hated it on me i hated it in every way possible sometimes i do wear like red clothing but like if it was on my face or even nails i have i do not wear red nails like this is the closest i've ever worn red on my nails i swear i'd be popping oh, i'm so sorry to my nail tech like i'd be doing crazy sh and they pop on but ever since then i never wore it until my senior year of high school I was like, you know what? What anyone got to say? I'm going to use it for homecoming. I used it for homecoming. I had a black dress. If I find a picture, I'll probably put it on there and like, y'all see what I mean. But I was always super just about the color. I still am like in general wearing it. Um, sometimes I'm more like, maybe no. I was traumatized. I was insecure, I still am, but I was way much more insecure and I was like, I ain't gonna deal with that ever in my life. So that was my story about my red lip trauma. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Don't forget to like and love. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get started. Let me fix my hair because I already look. Oh, this is how my armpits look. I haven't shaved them since the day I did that video. So, boom. This one has a little bit more, but this one has always been the one that grows the most. So, this one, I don't know. Like, it's not as. It forgets I'm going through it, but whatever. Oh, damn. Okay. So, we're gonna start. Like I've said before, my eyebrows always come first. I've grown them out like a lot because since whenever I come to college like I don't do anything but my nails here because I feel like everything else is like I've heard really bad things and it's a lot more like pricier you can say so I don't do my eyebrows anywhere else but whenever I go back home to Houston so I have to wait till then but yeah so we're concealing my eyebrows uh The new one that they came out with what is it called um hydrating camel concealer a satin finish that one i use it for my face too so you guys are going to see me using it multiple times i feel like i cover like everything okay uh sorry i got my eyebrows done there's one here so y'all see probably two different shades <laughs> This is so fucking simple. Why didn't you just fucking tell us? Well, like, um, it's, um, content, you know? So, we're gonna go in with the NYX bronzer, matte bronzer, and we're just gonna shade this in my eyes. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I'm just gonna put it all in the little corners and my crease. I decided I want to go like a little bit more up close, bring my phone up close because I feel like you guys can't really see it through there because it's really dark and just... but yeah. Some white onto the lids. You can pick up any white shadow to be honest. I'm just using the one from the Zodiac palette because I like how it looks. More of that bronzer color that I had and that's it for the eyes. <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> fucking basic, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was it, literally it, plus it's really affordable to like, you know, just a simple little look, <laughs> I am a broke college student, so don't expect much sometimes, like, just kidding, you, you won't be disappointed. Face, mm-hmm, oh, this smells so good, it's literally like I'm tallando arroz con leche all over my face. I know that probably sounds gross. We're just like horchata in general. It's hot smells. I love it. I love it. But yeah, this is a Neutrogena um, rice protein primer. It's for like oily skin. So, really like it. This is my Too Faced one. The Born This Life Foundation. Um, I highly recommend the Maybelline Fit Me one if you want a drugstore one. It's really like good too. It's usually what I use if I don't use this one. But you know, it's great. I'm going in some concealer. Underbags. I do try to hide my mustache because I haven't gotten that wax so. on my forehead although i don't have a big forehead i just i don't know i feel like i already have a big like big cheeks and i have a round face i think that's enough attention to my face <laughs> i'm just gonna blend that in <laughs> i love it look at this i love this concealer so i totally recommend I use the Airspun one. Those who have like followed me since like ages know this has been like my go-to forever. I tried the one this year and it was the worst $50 I ever freaking spent. And I regret it that I tried it because everyone was like, oh my god, this is so amazing. I love it. It's so great. But it's quite expensive, but I love it. And so I went out and tried it my experience isn't legit because i literally purchased well okay so i purchased it thinking i bought the right one uh the translucent one and then when i eventually used it i had so much flashback and then um on top it left like white all over my face like as soon as i patted out like a few minutes like like a two like two minutes and it just got stuck to my face i don't know um I eventually gave it away to my friend and she said it was a different kind it was like some other name so I was like oh it's from the room here but I got the wrong one and so ever since but I still wasn't like I'm gonna try it again like no baby those $50 hurt my pocket right now if I were to even consider that like mm -mm, I can't I really don't feel like risking it again maybe when I'm a big baller I'll try it again but for the meantime no that shit was like a fail <laughs> but you know go out and try it maybe it was really, like i don't even really consider my experience an experience because i bought the wrong one apparently but so still try it let me know I'm not gonna buy it but still want to know so i brush upwards just because kylie said so in her makeup video literally the only reason why i do it but i really don't know what happens if you brush downwards i don't want to do it though Leaf in a bronze. Going back into this one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Going into some blush, blush, blush. I love blush so much. Mm hmm. I do it. 
all close together in a bit. Just keep. Put some more. Put some more. So already have the blush and everything on. I'm clean under my cheeks, and then we're gonna go back to my eyes. But yeah. Now we're gonna go under my eyes, and we're gonna just put that brown that we have into my eyes. Under my eyes, not in my eyes. The hell? Dang. And I freaking put it in my anyways. It's already already got some under my eyes. We're gonna take off this powder off my face, and then we're gonna start doing my eyelashes, and then go to my lips finally. Oh, it's a highlighter. Mm -hmm. I I just bought these, and we're gonna be using them. <laughs> they are the what is it called? Eye Kiss, I think it is. Like oh my God, where is the name? I'm gonna put this together just to get the name. Oh, it's here. I envy, not I kiss. I envy 3D collection. And it's in the size 18. I haven't tried these yet. I'm gonna try them right now because I wanna see if I'm gonna like them. I like to break down, break in my lashes before I take them out somewhere. So I don't know if that's just me, but I do that. My group me, they're like talking about our English because yeah, I'm great. Okay, so like I was really sketchy about the lashes for a minute once I took them out of the box because I felt like they weren't going to be dramatic enough and they seemed really natural. But, like, they look really natural, like, in person. And then I look at myself in the, like, video and I'm like, whoa. Whoa. They're really cute. I was pretty shocked. Like, <laughs> they had me there halfway, you know? I'm going to do my lips. After I'm done with my lips and put some highlight, I'm going to show you guys an up close of my eyes. Dude, I'm like so bold for really like even doing this with my pinky like that. Not my even my pinky, my pointer finger, I think it is like whatever the fuck it is. So we're gonna go into ColourPop one. It's called before I even put it on. It is called I still can't find the color. I'm stupid. Arriba! <laughs> but yeah, arriba. Why arriba? This is literally like my favorite highlighter right now. And we're gonna put it on here. On my cheeks. And in here. And you know what? Just because I feel good, like I honestly truly feel good in this red lipstick, we're gonna put it in my inner corner. Not the red lipstick. The highlighter. Damn, that is so confusing, right? Like, I did not mess up like three times off camera. I did, and I had to go back like a zillion times. And it still looked kind of freaky, but it looks good. I am really satisfied. Wow. Okay, this is up close. Ignore my beagle up there. <laughs> wow. I really like this. Okay. I am not even gonna front. Like, I was really gonna consider like changing last minute like the lipstick before I even applied it. I know my hair is like so messed up, but like I'm just it's either my makeup or my hair. Anyways, I'm not even gonna pretend like I was gonna not gonna change it. Like I was literally this close to like maybe I'm not gonna do that. Like what I do to be super bold. I stuck with it and I do not regret it. Like wow. Mm-hmm. Very adequate. Mm -hmm. 
ignore my hair but i really like this look like oh my god it was so cute i really hope you guys enjoyed this i even changed my top because i was like oh my god i need a different color with this you know and then i was like taking pictures and taking videos i almost forgot to finish this video so yeah that's how much this in this red lipstick had impact on me like I really hope you guys like this video as much as I did and enjoy it as much as I did because this really does have to like believe it or not it's like such a big deal for me because I, I really do struggle a lot with insecurities and like this is probably like the most foolish thing ever probably like the color red for me really just make me feel a lot more better and a lot more comfortable this whole look so I really hope you guys liked it as much as I did don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment down below if you have some kind of insecurity as well or just relate to anything honestly um y'all you guys so don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below i'll be having more looks for you guys to come thanks bye